What's up guys, it's that's Modern Warfare here, Gamer Tab Andrew Chicken, and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install my custom icons and um, CPU monitors and all the stuff I've got on here. Because this is how my computer normally looks like. Now whenever I make a tutorial I always take all this stuff off and put it back to the default Windows 7 one. But because this tutorial is going to show you how to get all of this stuff in the first place then... I decided to just leave the computer as it normally looks, which is like this. So, um, for reaching 10,000 subscribers, I decided to make this video um, as you know, just another little extra um, video for reaching 10,000 subscribers. So, it has been requested quite a lot from uh, most of you guys on bunch of different JTAG tutorial videos where I've got these custom icons installed. Um, I've had quite a lot of people requesting a tutorial for it. Um, and I don't show this rain meter theme that I've got here, all the custom icons, um, the custom monitors and stuff. Um, so that hasn't been requested a lot but I'll explain why it's useful and why you um, might want it. Um, if you don't think it looks cool, but <laughs> I like it anyway, so that's why I've got all this custom icon stuff on here. Um, so what we're going to do to get all these different icons, I mean you've got all the pictures and um, it's pretty much every icon's customizable, um, like control panel icons, that's all been customized. Uh, even creating stuff like new folders and new WinRAR archives and text documents all got their own little new custom icons there. Now the problem with making this tutorial is um, all this stuff is part of a theme, a Windows 7 theme. Um, and the problem with it is I don't use the entire theme. I only use the monitors here and I use the icons um, but normally it's part of a big theme that customizes pretty much everything like even the start menu um, start menu bar and you know when you open a window it's all customized um, but I, I don't really like that anymore so I took that off so for, for this tutorial I'm only going to show you guys how to install you know my monitors on here and the icons um, if you want a tutorial on installing the entire theme, then I'll link one in the description to somebody else's tutorial which shows you how to install the, the whole um, theme itself. Okay, so everything you need will be in one download link in the description. Well, I'll put two links to it because some people seem to have trouble downloading from FireDrive. I don't know why. Um, it works perfectly for me. So I'll put a Mediafire link in there as well as a FireDrive link to um, downloading these files. So everything you need for what I'm going to show you um, will be in the description in one download link, hopefully. So, well, one one WinRAR archive with everything you need in it. So we're going to open up 7TSP. Now make sure you run this as administrator, actually, if you don't have user account control settings disabled. If you want to run that as administrator. Um, now this program is pretty awesome because you can customize your login screen as well and your start menu orb, um, which I'm not going to do, but, um, you know, that is available for you if you want to do that. There's also some extra options in here if you want to change any of those. Um, so you want to click, uh, when you're ready you want to click add a custom pack and you want to add the bottom shell first and once that's done you can um, click start patching and once you click start patching it'll, it'll ask you to restart your computer twice so the f it'll ask you to restart once this bar is finished and then when you restart and the computer loads back up into the desktop it'll prompt you with another message to restart a second time so you've got to restart the computer twice and once you've restarted it twice um, open this program back up add a custom pack and add the next one the uh, top shell this time and once you add the top shell do the same thing again click start patching wait for it to finish, it will ask you to restart twice and once you've restarted twice again um, you'll have all these icons installed and that's all you have to do for that. There's also a WinRAR archive icon pack as well which you can see at the top here I've got these custom icons. To get those you on, on WinRAR you have to go into options, themes, um, organize themes, add the theme and you've got to add the uh, theme which 
I'll need to find here. I think it's yeah, there it is Winrar, the Winrar one. You can open that up. Had evolution Winrar dot theme. Open that. Um, that'll add it in here. You just select it and click select, and that'll change your icons up here. And that's all you have to do for the icons, that's it. Now, the thing about this monitors, the reason I like them so much, not only do they look pretty awesome in my opinion, but um, they're, it's actually very useful. Uh, at the moment I have no broadband and I should have a video up by now telling you why I don't have broadband um, or any internet connection at the moment. Uh, but normally it would show you your upload speed, your download speed here, which is useful. It also shows you your CPU um percentage how much is how much the uh CPU is working so shows you the percentage of that it also shows you how much RAM your computer is using um swap as well um it also t -t -t down here there's a bar that tells you your uh, wide area network address now the that is actually really useful because normally you would have to go into the internet and go to whatismyip.com or something like that to find out what your IP address is whereas it tells you right here on this bottom bar um, what your IP address is. It also shows you your local IP address as well so you don't have to IP config in command prompt or go to um, uh, your network adapter to find out your local IP address because it will also tell you it down here. Um, so it's all pretty useful, this entire theme. It's also got stuff like um, recycle bin, um, shut down icons, restart, hibernate, log out, lock, all that stuff. And yeah, it's a pretty useful theme. So what I'll do first of all is uninstall rain meter so I can show you me installing it. Um, so we'll go ahead and uninstall that so it's gone. and. Going back here, um, I will have this in the description as well, rain meter, so I'll have the latest version in the description, so double click it, run it, English, yes, standard edition. Um, you can even select the portable edition and install it to a USB stick, um, which is pretty handy because I, I sometimes do that and um, I can put certain rain meter themes on, on my college computers when I'm in college and stuff. Um, you by using the portable version. Um, so select whether if you're on a 64-bit machine to make sure you have the install 64-bit version on um, and click next finish and it will open up rain meter. Now the problem here for me is it automatically recognizes it remembers that I've got my, my previous theme that I had on here and it's set it all up the way I had it before for you it won't do that if it's the first time you'll get a different thing you'll have a little welcome um, welcome to rain meter thing in the middle and there'll be some other monitors on the right um, what you can do to those monitors is right click on them and click unload skin and that will get rid of the monitor so do that to every single one till it's just blank and you don't have anything else on there and once you've done that you've got this blue vision one which will be also in that one download link um, that one window archive in the description. You can double click on that and make sure Blue Vision version 0 0.2 is ticked. You just click install and it'll install it for you. Now again it still probably won't display them all on screen like this. Um, it might but it may not. So if it doesn't go to the rain meter icon, uh, right click on it, go to skins Blue Vision V2 launcher and then launch whether the, it's only got two resolutions on here 1920 by 1080 which fortunately for me is the exact resolution of my um, TV screen but um, if you have a 1680 by 1050 then select that one um, if you've got any other resolution prior to these two um, or different resolution to these two go with the closest so if you've got like a 1360 by 768 screen then go for the go for this one at the top here because that's closer to that uh, resolution than the 1920 by 1080 is so select which one you want it'll open up loads of different monitors um, go ahead and unload the ones you don't want you can drag the drag them into whichever position you would like um, 
I would only really recommend this theme if you have dual screen or triple screen um, monitor set up because uh, that way you can put all your desktop icons on another screen and keep your main display with all these icons like I'm doing uh, because if you have all your icons as well it's going to be pretty cluttered on your computer screen that's the only problem uh, but yeah that's all you got to do guys um, you can you know drag and drop your monitors wherever you want um, there used to be a way of right clicking and I cannot remember how you do it now unfortunately but there definitely was a way to uh, it doesn't look like it's in here is there edit settings uh, there's there's definitely some way that you can send it to back um, or something like that where or something on clicked it stops there's a way to uh, in the settings to make it so that you know you can't accidentally click and move it by accident or it, it fixes it in a fixed position and you know it you won't be able to move it around and stuff uh, but yeah so that's it guys, that is how you install all of that, um, as it has been requested by uh, quite a lot of people. So thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and of course comment if you have any questions, and I will see you guys in my next video.